Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and today we're gonna make uh, the review and investigation of the crash video we have here. That's the crash video, the short crash video of the motorcycle that crashes while turning. So the idea is not to blame the rider, uh, the idea is to understand his mistakes and make some outcomes to understand how your motorcycle is turning, how to lean your motorcycle. Uh, so I want you guys not to get into these situations. That's why we are reviewing right now. Also guys, I want to apologize about my English. It's not very perfect because it's not my native language. I hope you understand. And we had a legitimate misunderstanding in terms of his pronunciation of a word. Now guys, let's see the short video. And now let's uh, discuss all the mistakes the driver done here. But at first, let me explain you how to turn your motorcycle or how your motorcycle turns. Now, guys, we see the turn here. It's a U-turn, as you can see. I'm not good at drawing, but here is our motorcycle. This uh, green brick, as you can see, rider wants to turn and the motorcycle has its own characteristics like uh, the mass velocity and the turn itself had a specific radius if you turn or something turns uh, the centrifugal force start to act on the object as you can see here the a i named a the centrifugal force which is acting on a uh, object. So we have a radius, velocity, mass, and we have the centrifugal force, which is actually equals the mass multiplied by um, velocity and uh, deleted by uh, divided by r. R is the radius. So as you can see, if we reduce the radius of the turn, the tighter you turn, the greatest the force in uh, the greatest the centrifugal force is and if you increase the speed twice the centrifugal force increases uh, four times because we have the velocity square in our formula also if your motorcycle mass is heavier than usual motorcycle will of course experience more centrifugal force according to this formula so that's, I hope, is understandable. What in heaven's name are you talking about? Well, let me explain it in a different way. So guys, here we have the merge cycle. It's uh, the basic merge cycle. Uh, that's what my skills, the drawing skills allow me to draw. But I hope you understand. So the front part, it's moving straight and not going anywhere. Just straight moving motorcycle. A gay baby turns straight. And then if you want to start turning, the centrifugal force acts on your motorcycle. And you need to do something because this force will uh, cause your motorcycle to fly away from the road. Uh, out from the radius of the turn of course you have the mass of the motorcycle so we need to use this gravity force it's called mg uh, m is a mul uh, mass of the motorcycle and g is uh, acceleration you need to turn your motorcycle you need to lean to make the bank of a motorcycle you have the mg component which is counter reacts to the centrifugal force and that counter reaction actually uh, makes your bike stable in a turn. So you need to make the, the weight component, the mass component of a motorcycle, uh, the gravity component of a motorcycle, 
to counter-react to the centrifugal force. If your horizontal component of the weight is equal to the acceleration, to the centrifugal acceleration, that means your motorcycle will be stable uh, while turning. If your mass is more than centrifugal force, you'll have this. If your mass is less than centrifugal force, you will have this. So guys, now you understand, to counter-react to the centrifugal force, you need to have the bank. And your motorcycle should allow you to do this. So you bank the motorcycle, you put the way outside for me, and that force actually counteracts to the centrifugal force and you are making your turn very smoothly and fine. Now let's discuss what actual bank you should make for your motorcycle. I will tell you guys that there is no specific angle that should be achieved while turning. Uh, for example, in MotoGP, the riders can achieve angle up to 64 degrees, but that that's angle based on their skills, their knowledge, and their motorbikes, of course. There is a table here we have for approximate maximum banks for the different types of motorcycles. Our rider here in our video did he did really bad mistakes. And now let's discuss them. First, he followed the fashion of the low huge beggars. So his motorcycle was very low with the huge side bags and it was really heavy. According to our formula for centrifugal force, this motorcycle should have a light weight for uh, the centrifugal force to be reduced. In this condition, the bike should allow the rider to bank uh, but it wasn't in this situation. For example, we can take two identical motorcycles. So our, our rider, he lowered, for example, this motorbike, or it was lowered by, by the design, but it was still low compared to different motorbikes. And it has very huge side bags. And uh, just imagine what is the maximum bank limit for this motorcycle, of course, it's much lower compared to another type of motorcycles. So guys who has cruisers, I would suggest you to uh, to follow safe, more safe rides than the sport bikes and other motorcycles. Because I have the cruiser myself. I have the cruiser bike and I know the limit, you know. I can scratch my paws, of course, but I really understand the limit of the smarter cycle. So guys, the main reason why this happened is because the rider was speeding up while turning. So his centrifugal force was enormously high for this motorcycle and this motorcycle didn't allow him to bank more to counter-react to make um, the mass component which is counter-reacting to the centrifugal force. So he was uh, banking his motorcycle was scratching the road and finally he just slid off the slid over the road and crashed could it be avoided of course it is if the rider was experienced and he used the good technique i will tell you right now so guys let's see the video once again This guy walks from the crash so cool that he reminds me of one lorry driver. Now I guess let's look at our rider to be more precise at his elbows. As you can see the left arm is fully extended and the right arm has a little bit of curve. That means he was sitting on his right side while making the left turn. And let's see next picture here we have. So the rider and the motorcycle has the sum of mass, so 
the rider has his own center of mass uh, and the bike has his own center of, its own center of mass so of course they have the sum of it and while turning left the rider moved to the right and he moved the total center of mass uh, to the right that means he need to create more bank while turning let's see the next picture and this the normal this is how you should do it uh, you need to move your center of mass into the turn and you move the total center of mass into the turn that makes your motorcycle bank less so if he use the normal technique as you can see here in the picture he will need it to have less bank that means he probably will make the turn on the speed he had so the first reason he was speeding up the second reason he wasn't sitting properly on his motorcycle and you can see less bang here compared to previous picture so one picture good another picture is bad one picture good another picture is bad and you can see he was using very bad technique also and one more mistake uh, it's a common mistake for all beginners and also not beginners maybe normal riders the experience uh, this motorcyclist this rider was looking forward while his motorcycle was turning as you can see from this picture so his side should should be moved a little bit to the left as you can see it is this um, yellow arrow so the motorcycle should be moved the way the way you are looking at so if you look left your motorcycle will move left if you look straight your motorcycle will go straight it's subconscious action and guys i'm begging you don't use the legs and the feet like this rider used just look at it it's crazy you know what saved his leg his side back his side back really saved his leg without it he will be screwed No, seriously guys, wearing no protection while making high performance on your motorcycle is a very stupid thing to do. I myself wear all the equipment that I have for every ride, for head, for back, legs and other stuff. Uh, this rider, without the help of his side backs on his motorcycle, he would probably have a severe trauma for his leg, for the left leg. So, I warn you guys where the equipment the protection for every ride you ride so today we discussed all the wrong actions this guy did uh, we are not blaming this guy he maybe was a less experienced maybe he was uh, in a rush or something but stay good safe ride safe and wear equipment that's the thing you need to do um, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have the examples of this kinds of video you want to discuss for, to investigate maybe like this one, please write in the comment below the links. And have a good time.